Yo, 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 you know the DJ Big Nick, aka Black Dynamite, the artist spotlight. Got a legend in the building. My man EJ got damn work. We yeah. about to do this shit, y'all. Let's go. Hey, yo, you nigga Nas. Kill J for real, man. Cross my shit. Nigga J, shoot your ass, Nas. Look, you stupid. Hey, this shit is called yeah. Industry World, y'all. It's Industry World, baby. Let's keep it on record, baby. Motherfucker, nigga. Crazy. Hey, yo, Drake, murdered me, man. Man, nigga, really. Listen to the word play. Man, make some street for real, nigga. Hey yo, motherfucker! Two EJ Ward, goddamn it, motherfuckers! Hey, look at it, Fuck that shit, yo! Hey yo, Nas! you should have went to Marcy and told Jay to come meet you. Yeah, the mic is just a speaker right in front of that nigga house. Yeah, that nigga get mad without a reason to doubt, nigga. Hey yo, Jay. The takeover, you were supposed to go up to Queens and do a make on there and tell them I see it, God's here and knock the bridge on. You almost broke the whole building, nigga. Jay over. Hey, yo, kiss. That nigga made me see because he should have gave him a check with me. Told the locks to grab the glass out of the office for exit. The law kids been waiting so tough for me to get the check straight. Hey, yo, man. You should have said that nine million y'all been silly with Julie. You sold the young guns to get the big guns. Jumped on the freeway and spit raw to the death. Honey, God, I respect, nigga. Hey, yo, Trey. You should have been back to back to the back. Like, hey, we're loading back and attack the track. And make it meet me and make whatever smart right back. I'm going to put y'all with charge and plug it up. Get the charge back. I'm going to get me. I know you're watching me, you take a shower, can get you open, just your dream chicks, I'm not about to pick them, you can get funky shit, a spit song, you're trying to do shit, you nigga, for no shit. I don't think there's any EJ. I'm not going to be sure to handle this. I'm not going to be sure to stir up that whole light in the candles. What? You still don't see all I do on my life. You build enough numbers in here, Miss Station, baby. That shit is still supposed to value one. Y'all about to get the goddamn semi preview. Oh, we got a call in there. Hey, yo, we got a call in, Joey. You do that. Do that. Yo, yo, who that? Hold on, we're going to turn this music down. We're going to hold on one second. Hold on one second, baby. Yo, yo. What's up, what's up, what's up? Coach Ryan, how you feel? Oh, what's up, my strong, black, king, motivator, inspirer, man. You're a blessing, brother. Brother, I'm going to reflect you to you, brother, so it's all, all is good, man. Look, man, I want to let you know you're one of the last a real storytellers, man, that people need to know. Make sure they know the music that you put out there, that you are one of the last of the storytellers, brother. Oh, brother, hey, 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 listen, that's a blessing. Hey, I know, I know, we, I know we support each other, and um, we, we definitely show each other an astronomical message. Out of love, but I really, I really want to give you my mixtape. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. Yeah, I, I, I really don't want no, um, no dough off you because of what you represent. And I've also been supposed to catch up with you. And <laughs> right, right, right. Hey, you guys supposed to been caught up with you. The beauty of it, though, e, that's the beauty of it, man. We, we touch with each other's reflection. Man, a dollar sign is never included in your DVD, man. Exactly. Big money will do it, but man, we got each other's back. Hey, hey, Ben, let me ask you a question. Have you ever been up Mixed Station Radio? I have never been on mixed station video. Okay, okay, well, um, after my interview, I will definitely connect you with the CEO, entrepreneur, Big Shot Vanessa, <laughs> Chris Pop, my man Nick. I've been knowing Nick for I've been knowing him for over fifteen years. His setup is amazing. Um, that, that's what we gotta do as black people. We gotta help each other out, extend the arms. So I'm a um. I'm going to pass the information on, and you got to come up here, man. You got a big follower, and it's, it's, it's dope. All right. Okay, well, you continue to let them know. I'm on that, and I appreciate that. But you let them know, man, that your brother's going to be in the White House next week, man. Wow, that is your boy. Good job, kid. Oh, man. Yeah, we got the red, man. That's big. 
Right. Or rap shit or rap, but you know, when you love me, you love me on what you done for me. I'll just tell them about me, tell them what you done for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a definitely you got for us, a cultural act. Yeah, sir, I'm gonna definitely put the word and say, um, if I, get, if I get a second to do I'll call you, but within the next couple of days, I will be ready to call. <laughs> Yes, sir. I love you, brother. Keep up the good uh, power for what you're doing. I love you more, great brother. Thank you. Uh, why? Yeah, what's up to my live? Y'all already know what it is. It's Mixed Station Radio. It's your boy, EJ Morning, a.k.a. I Like Get Money, a.k.a. Give Me The Money. This is a live on-air interview artist preview. We preview with my records. Back to the space and posters. Volume 1 has been doing astronomically well all over the planet. Detroit, Michigan. Oh my goodness. Man. Memphis, Tennessee. Stop. Long Beach, Stop. California. Stop. Seattle, Washington. Dallas, Texas. Houston, Texas. Richmond, Virginia. Roanoke, Virginia. New Jersey. Grand Rapids. Clearwater, New York. Clearwater, Florida. I'm gonna be, it, the, the list goes on and on. I've been shipping CDs all over the planet, all over the country, overseas. Australia. Brazil. You know what I'm saying? So obviously the people out there are really, really understanding it, man. They're loving what I'm doing, and I really appreciate everybody who's supporting, everybody who's showing love. It's just an amazing, amazing feeling, and I really, really, really love you all. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So E, let's get into this new project, man. Off hot, off the goddamn presses, man. Mm -hmm. I didn't listen to it, man. I love it. Thank you. This shit is called Death, Scoots, and Pusses. Oh, Death to the Scoops. Yeah, Death, Death, Death to the Scoops and Pusses, Volume 1. So what, what what made you come up with that name, man? Um, for, for a lot of reasons. Um, Basically, I was just tired of seeing grown men walk around in Pusses. Uh -huh. That's that's one. <laughs> <laughs> I was tired of seeing grown men in dresses and Scoops. That's two. Okay. I got another caller. Hold on, yo. It made my handicap ass walk. Let's go, y'all calling up, shout out. Hey, where are you doing? How you doing, man? Mix Station Radio, this is your boy, Angel Rule, with my ex, who's calling, please. This is Derek on the EJ. Derek, my G, what up, baby? Not much, man, just want to chime in on y'all topic today. Yeah, man, what's, what is, what, what's your thoughts, man? Because I, I don't know if you got, you don't got the mixtape yet, so. But what's your thoughts? Death to the Scarce and Purses, Volume One. That that title is it, saying a lot. Well, give, give me a give, give me your take on on that. So let's start with the purses game. Mm -hmm. So for me, man, I'm a little bit older. This for me, this is the second go round of this. Mm -hmm. Back in the early '90s, late '80s, early '90s, mm -hmm. it was had the MC bag, the Louis Vuitton bag, y'all kind of back in the day because that's what they kept the thing in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Back in the day. So that's how I grew up. So this is the second generation of that. So to see it again, you know, it's kind of weird. But the skirt thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the skirt thing? How are you going to handle that, Dad? That's a little bit different, man. I'm not sure where they're trying to go with it. <laughs> man, man. I, I can't understand where they're going with it. Now, throughout history, you know, our history, for take anybody to read a book, we know the Romans started. Africans wore gowns and dresses, you know, uh, made of glass or whatever materials they had. But right now with this, I'm not sure if they're just making weird fashion statements or I, I'm just not sure. Plus, we got to keep in mind, too, man, a lot of guys, grown men, grew up in single households with nothing but women. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, in some cases, they don't get the full uh, male experience. You know what I'm saying? They see dresses all the time. We, we emulate what we see. Mm-hmm. That makes you know, sense. That makes a lot of sense. So in that, in that aspect, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where they're going with it. I would like to hear the guys. I want some calls to call in to think it's okay and cool and like to hear what direction that they trying to go in with. I can't understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, see, my opinion about it all, man, is um, and that you can understand this too. And, and I feel you when you say you are what you're around. And, you know, a lot of these guys grew up in single parent homes around a lot of women you know what i'm saying and they don't have the ability or they don't have the knowledge or nobody to look up to so they can understand which way to move how to operate and how to conduct themselves as men so 
you know, it's this CD is making a big, big statement. You know what I'm saying? Because you know our era, man. When we come up, you know we men. You know what I mean? We live by a certain code, a certain ethic, a certain integrity, a certain principle. You know what I'm saying? And I think the principles and the morals and the integrity of the new, newer generation is so lost. But at the end of the day, they honestly hold no more better because they don't have nobody to look up to. So, so let's just try to give them hope, man, and grab their hand and lead them in the right direction, man. So, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, we need to be focused more on our future than, 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 than that kind of stuff, man. Like I said, I have no idea what direction they're trying to go in with it, but it's more things to focus in than, than walking around in church. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No it's, not, it's not productive. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, hey, look, Josh, we gonna get up, brother. Um, send me your number in my inbox, and I don't think I got your math, man. So, uh, so we can chop it up. I will, man. I love what you're doing these days. I respect you, appreciate you, man. I hope everybody else out there that's listening to this and watching this does the same, man. Thank Be you. more versus everybody. Be more versus everybody. You gonna tell everybody? Yeah, I holler, y'all. All right, good G. Right. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, man. We love you, E. Thank you, Nick, man. Um, um, I'm doing this for a second, man. That's what I'm saying. I'm doing this for a little while now, and I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? If anybody know me personally and has been knowing me throughout my whole career and my whole life, then they always spread nothing but love. You know what I mean? That's why I get so much love in the street. East side, west side, from the Troll Projects all the way to Park Heights, from Park Heights back to Bitter Street, from Bitter Street back to RG, Liberty, Way, White Lock. It ain't a whole lot to that, you know what I mean? So, thank you all, man. You know, you, the way you live your life and the way you conduct yourself is what you get out of it, you know what I mean? So, most I've always, man. I've always spread it love around the world, and I get it right, right back. Thank yeah. you. Man, you're a legend in Bitty Moon, man. Yeah, a lot. you know, yeah, I remember we first met each other down Carlos O'Charlie's, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> when I first started DJing, Carlos O'Charlie's. Well, what? when I first started back DJing, right? Yeah, I was doing, you know, tracks for everybody, and I was trying to get my hands wet right. into the hip hop scene. Right. And I remember you clowned me like, "Yo, the fuck is you doing? Yo, you fucking up our shit, yo." <laughs> you know what? You were right for that, cause I was fucking it up. But then I got it together, you know. I I was a little. High head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, we all go through that as we growing up in different stages of our, of our lives. You know what I mean? And around the Carlos O'Charlie's days, I was, you know, I was, I was moving a little different around in the street. You know what I mean? And my mindset was different. And um, you know, I was a little reckless. You know, what I mean, I never was disrespectful, but you know, what I mean, I was just a little bit more hot headed. You know, yeah, you just told me the truth. You know what I mean? A little bit more misunderstood, but. I always admired you though for what you did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you coming, ain't you coming ain't, from being a producer to a DJ. Well, yeah. a DJ to a producer, then back yeah. to a DJ. Yeah, and building this empire you got, man. Cause this yeah. is this is an empire. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, when you're in this business, no, you know you're gonna have hiccups. You're gonna have heartaches. Yeah. You're gonna have disagreements, but you know the love overstands everything. And if Most it's definitely. real, if it's genuine, if it's unique, and if it's love then it resurfaces and it reconnects and it is what it is. You know what I mean? We got, we got almost 20 years in, 15 years yeah, in strong. Yeah. So. Yeah. And we ready to create some music. Yeah, together. I, I mean, you don't do know. donut. Yeah. Thinking about it. Cause I was doing tracks for SCU at yeah. the time. Yeah. Just got finished. Uh, really learning from J funk. Right. You Shout know out to Jay Funk. That's yeah, my guy. Man. Yeah, Shout we, out to Donut. That's my guy. Yeah, we definitely going to do a, a tribute to Jay Funk up here at Mix Station Radio. Yeah, most definitely. But, uh, man, let's get back to these skirts and purses shit. Yeah, death to the skirts. So, we gonna, this is what we're going to do. We're going to give them a preview of five joints. Okay, okay. I don't know if you want me to pick them. Only thing I see on the CD is numbers. I'm a, um, you know, we are gonna give them thirty seconds. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's give them thirty seconds. Yeah, they got they got to spin that bread. Y'all got to come up with that dough. You know what I mean? And Hit that's telling where they can get the joints from. Yeah, you, you can know go I mean? on. You can go on every platform: um, Title, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Google Play, or you can hit me up directly. You know what I mean? My Facebook, Eric Jones, EJ Warwick. Instagram, EJ Warwick. Twitter, EJ Warwick. www.ejwarwick.net. Ain't a whole lot to that. You know what I'm saying? Hit right. me up. I got you. I meet up with you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And you say it's nothing. It's nothing. Forget about it. 
This is what we do. I don't know what song is what, right? Yeah, this Cause I'm looking at numbers. We just gonna play them, and you tell me what. Yeah, matter of fact, play number um, play number two. Play number, number two. two. Okay. Give, him, give him thirty seconds of that. All right, we gonna give him thirty seconds. Yeah, that's the first person. You know what I'm saying? One. You know, it's different when you when you fucking with the CD than your MP3 files. You know? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, but it's loading. Yeah, but you got a lot of um, you got a lot of equipment around here. Yeah, this and look, hey, and I'm on point with it. You this, feel me? This, this look, this look like you invested yourself. Yeah, invested in yourself. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. This, this all comes he's from invested beat. in this. This self, comes guys. from beat making. You feel me? Right. All this shit. You need really a Spotify link, Sonya. I got you. I got you. I'm, I'm gonna post it up on a on a page. Give me a second. Yeah. I got you. So, also, they can hear this interview on Spotify shout too. Out, yeah. Shout out to Sonya is is real. That's my baby. She's a good. Never met her in my life. Um, she out there in um Tennessee, I think. Right, Sonya. Been supporting me from day one. You know, wow. Never met her. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't even think we ever have had a conversation over the wow. phone. You know what I'm saying? But through, of course, social media is it is what it is. You know what I mean? You build relationships. You worldwide. So shout out to Sonya. Sonya, I really, really appreciate you because you've been buying my stuff. You've been sending me dough. I've been sending it back. You know what I'm saying? And you just been constantly showing me love. So and you repping me out there, got my name buzzing out there. So I gotta fly out there soon. And um, see you and chop it up with you. So thank you, Sonya. Yeah, I appreciate you. Shout out to Memphis. So let's get into this number two. That's how we doing it on mixtapes. I'm doing this shit from the table. Yeah, we doing it from the table. Let's go. Nick got a mini Serato DJ <laughs> sex um, um, device that I've never seen before. Nigga, I come in. Hey, I come prepared. Let's go. Yo, I was trying to be nice, you know. Yeah, I was cool with it. Snatch one of your eyeballs out. Ooh. Ooh. I'm the king of the coast. I'm on planes and boats. I'm on jets and yachts. Like I got bricks of coke. The cool got shit. Yeah. Raised by a king. Yeah. I was with the big shot. I'm going to get more than 30, yo. You niggas was dancing. Me and my niggas was holding you suckers for ransom. Fruitcakes and cupcakes. We was on a kidnap. It snatched the duct tape. Yeah. That only built for a kid with ain't shit. The purple tape. Uh. Two pops with popper. Hit him up and shot ya. 50 shots in my chopper. Took a gun from the knocker. Uh. Stashed the clock in my locker. Rock a nigga like flocker. Niggas run when I pop up. We see who there when you locked up, you might suck in my cock up. Ah. Fuck around and get shot up in the coop with the top up. You niggas fucking the block up. Yeah, yeah motherfucker, I'm from the same city as Lowe's. You better dig big butt up, cause none of these niggas close. I treat a nigga like the fish that can't cook and burn the toast. Some more that darn shit. Baltimore City, I give you hope. I'm the future, I'm the future, I'm the future, I'm the future. I think yo, I had to end it right there, yo. Yeah, I had to end it right baby. there. I knew the word play. Yeah, baby. I already knew the word play. Yeah, baby. Can't y'all, y'all too much. Listen, the whole the whole mixtape is like that. Just Every, straight bars. The whole mixtape is just crazy. Straight you know bars. What I'm yeah, motherfucker from the same city as Los. You better dig big pun up because none of these niggas close. I treat a nigga like a chick that can't cook and burn a toast. I'm on that darn shit. Baltimore City, I give you hope. I'm the future, I'm nigga. I'm the future. Rest in peace to little Scooter. And the feds on the phone, they looking on the computers. Who the shooter? Instagram telling, Facebook snitching, Snapchat ratting. You niggas is bitches. Yo, let's go to another one, y'all. Yeah, we're gonna play. We're gonna be just gonna get y'all lower, lower taste. Yeah. Just lower taste. Yeah, just, just click, just click what you want, baby. You know All right, I mean? let's, let's go. We're gonna go to number nine. Everything, I don't even know what everything's powerful. Is. And all these tracks y'all hear in the background is, of course, produced by me. <laughs> so this is how we doing this shit, man. Yeah, me and my man Nick Ray do some amazing we to do the soul work. album. That's what the fuck we yeah. gonna call that shit. Yeah, the soul album. I like that. I like yeah, that. Yeah, something different. Let's you know, eight eight strong songs. Easy. You know what I mean, Nick and EJ. The, the soul, soul album. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, for real, that's what the streets need. Need a little bit more soul in it. You know what I mean? So let's go. We going to number nine. I got you, Charlie. I'll meet you tomorrow with the CD. I got you. Hey, Melissa. Right. Sales doing? going up as we talk, people. Yeah, yeah the numbers is going up. Yeah, let's go. Actually, actually, this is a record. You, you might got to play another one because this is a record I did with Fabulous. Okay. Fa- um, Fabulous is on the first verse. So okay. So that's kind of. Yeah, yeah. That, I, that's, that's the only feature I have on the actual mixtape. Yeah. Dang. I don't have no. Let's go number six then. I don't have no other features on the drum. So we, we just gave y'all the intro on that. That's the intro taste. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the intro taste, baby. That sounds like some soul shit right there. Yeah. So let's be going to number six, y'all. On the death, what is death to purses and skirts and death, shit. Death to the skirts and purses, purses, purses and skirts. All that shit. Finger waves on grown <laughs> men with glitter and French rolls and young jock. Stop. No that's disrespect, true. though, baby. But come on, we men, man. You got you to gotta cut it out. Everything ain't for the social media, you know? Yeah, yeah. Come Let's on. go, y'all. Mix Station Radio, EJ Warwick. Oh, this is my motherfucking beat right here, oh, y'all. Who the best in the town, dog? Who got respect round town, dog? Who the best in the hood, dog? Yeah. Who had the Turn it up, Nick! You got the KRKs over there. I need money like he fought it. Much respect to the West. I'm the shit, y'all. I got labels trying to sign me, nigga. I heard Dr. Drake trying to find me, nigga. I got money. I got my own. Cool. Just give me them beats, nigga. You gave Snoop. Yeah. Went from my house to have a brick. You know, it's a slap you right with a selfie stick. I'm the shit, boy. I've been a winner. These bitch niggas switch fast. Caitlyn Jenner. I tell your wife, baby, what's for dinner? Oh, yeah. Take off the <laughs> ring and get in the kitchen. Huh. I run shit like a track meet. I was just in Miami, nigga. Ballin' like an athlete. And I'm a cop of Maybach. Took my mom in the backseat. Get a private plane and tell a pilot take the back streets. Oh, yeah. Bars on fleet. My daughter. Told me she want a beach, so I'm gonna get a holler. We can play hide and seek. Nigga, I can't give it to them all. I can't give it to can them I, all, E. Can I tell y'all a secret? I want to tell the people a secret. And I did this purposely because I wanted to really, really see how the consumer would react. But the majority of these records are probably three and a half to four years old. Wow. Stop playing, yo. That that record, I did that record. It's 2019. I did that record in 2016. Wow. Yep. Wow. That's crazy, y'all. Yeah. Forget about it. So that means you 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 sitting on some shit. Yeah. I mean, you know, I got a timeless flow. I got an immaculate flow. So, you know, my music is timeless. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been doing this for a long, long time. And, you know, I'm not just some wishy-washy artist running around with his pants hanging off his ass trying to do music. You know what I mean? I'm a professional. You know what I mean? And I, and I take this very, very serious. You know what I mean? I'm an artist, you know, so. You, you want some about Erica Badu shit? Yeah, I love Erica Badu. <laughs> I would love to meet Erica Badu one day and have a nice Who conversation. <laughs> have a nice conversation with Mrs. Erica Badu <laughs> and tell her how lovingly beautiful she is and how great her skin looks and when she walks and turns around, the powerfulness of her backside <laughs> is just such an amazing, amazing view. Yeah. Erica Badu. It's like, no, nah, but out of respect, I love Erica Badu as a woman. She has an amazing body. Let's not get that twisted. But I'm more attracted to her mind, her soul, her as a woman. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, so yeah. shout out to Erica Badu. You know what I mean? Hit me up, Erica Badu, www.ejwarwick.net. <laughs> so let's go to number eight. Number eight, good. Let's let's um, do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Okay, we can do eight. All right, let's go. Yeah. Huh. Which one of you niggas? Which one? I bet you man, not none of you niggas. Huh? I'll put a gun in you, nigga. Right down your throat and blow both of your lungs on you, nigga. Nah, dog. You ain't really hot. I'm the shit, my name. That's my joint, yo. Don't get your punk ass shot. Talking like a gangster, running around like you pop. Nah, little homie. Nah. You fucking little homie. Nigga, everybody know me. I'm loved in the hood, nigga. Everybody show me. Plus, I keep a couple dollars. I was just on Twitter, nigga. You one of my followers. Little fake ass homo, you getting the budget from a label, that's a no-no. <laughs> you getting the budget from a label, that's a no-no. I think that's all they need, yo. I think that's all they need. Yeah, we teasing y'all a little bit. So, so what's that? What was the name? The title of that joint right there for the, the people. I think the title of that joint was Death to the Death to the Purses. Oh wow. 
Yeah. Damn, I picked the right joint. Yeah, death to the person. Yes, sir. That's the right joint right there. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that song's actually old, too. Um, I did that song right around the time I did the um, Feral March beat. And, um, you know, it's just a beautiful thing, man. I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. And these joints you never pit out nowhere. You just sat on them. Yeah, yeah, I got... I'm going to be honest, and, I, and I'm not exaggerating. I probably got over... I probably got over fifteen hundred records. Wow, that's a lot to choose from. So, and so people, you prepare for any type of major situation that and, come your way. And, and and people are like, you gotta be, you gotta be shitting me. Like any major engineer from, you can ask Rod Lee, you can ask Nod, you can ask Mike Mack, you can ask Dookie Man. You know what I'm saying? Like when I when I go in the studio, I <laughs> I get busy. Like you in and out. Yeah, like. Um, and Bosco will tell you, shout out to Tony Bosco. I love you, my G. Um, he'll tell you too, like, um, I don't, I don't use no paper or no pen when I go record music. You know what I mean? I just go in the booth. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I'm, I'm that seasoned. You know what I mean? It takes years and years of preparation to get to that level. You know what I'm saying? It just don't happen overnight. Right. You know what I mean? But to prepare your mind like that. Yeah. So I'll, I'll go in the booth and I'll just do like every five bars. I'll stop. Had the engineer stop. I'll listen to it, and I'll just stack it until I do a whole verse. You know. Wow. Saying? So, so everything is not really like pre-planned. No. I just go. I just go. Dang. You know what I mean? Now, now, do I still write? Yeah, I still write. You know what I'm saying? When I'm, when I get into my writing mode, you know, I'll sit down at home and I'll and I'll write Rap it out. You know what I mean? I'll write it in my phone or whatever. But most of the time, when I'm recording music. And we just vibing in the studio. I just go straight in and um, knock it out like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, we're going to give them one more before we get more into EJ Warwick, y'all. We're going to give y'all one more preview. See, we just giving y'all testers. You know how on the block we give them tease? Give them, give, yeah. them, give them number three, but play but play a little bit more. No, I would say number four. Where, where, where that CD mm. at? Right here, bro. See y'all see the covers so official. Who did the graphic work? Man? Shout out to Scar Akbar. Oh, Scar did that. It looked like it too, man. Yeah, Scar definitely did it. He won't teach me shit, but you know that's my man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we got um, so we got the intro, which is one, two, um, I would say number three. Number three. No dis no disrespect. That's the name of the record. Wow. We gonna we, we gonna give y'all a little bit more of this one because this record is crazy. So I'm loading it up now, y'all. Ain't a whole lot to that. Oh, yeah, that's Nick in the background. I mean, Monster <laughs> Tracks. Soul, soul Food. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm back on my shit, y'all. Yeah, the Soul Album. I mean, we want to touch your souls out yeah. here. We got to touch y'all souls, man. The soul's not being touched anymore, man. It's just so much just unorganized so much yibby, bullshit. Yeah, you know? Like, you got to have some, some essence in your shit now, you yes. know? Yes, you do, bro. Or even hit them with the bars. Something. Yep. So we about to go to number three. Mm -hmm. What's the title of this joint? This is No Disrespect. Oh, wow. Let's go, y'all. Yeah, I'm tired of all you niggas. These tight-ass motherfuckers lagging ass pads. Man, these motherfucking mad person. And then you bitch ass ain't got a nerve to have your motherfucking phone. <laughs> Shout out to my man Lil D. That's a that boy is wild in real life. Real tough. I swear to God, me and my niggas hard as fuck. Nigga, I stick to the dough like my dick to my nuts. No disrespect, but you niggas is goofy. Shout out to Brooklyn, I'm like big in a cool G. I'm Gucci down to the socks. Rings and watch filled with rocks. Matter of fact, Nick, go ahead. Go ahead and let him have this record. This the last one. Give him that, yeah. yeah we won't do you this. What? Go sit your ass in the alley away from trash day. And please don't ask me if I got a budget. 
nigga, we eat lobster, you eating chicken McNuggets. Huh, a four piece for a dollar. I'm out in California, Spanish bitches in my shower. I got both the smokes, my niggas, we playing spades. And I know he's he never expected it to be AIDS. I'm from a city where half of the fucking nigga crazy. Nigga cheating and still winning like Tom Brady. Just fuck him and kill the pussy like Slim Shady. You a G, you need to go see more and score Sazy. Fucking actor, I should give you a script. You the type of nigga that get bitch slapped right on a strip. Fucking hater, I got these rap niggas running like that dude from Jamaica. Hit a nigga with eight shots for time, you like a Laker. Treat you niggas like Kobe. Just met the bitch and she's sucking my dick like she know me. Ha! I'm in the hood like a chicken box. Catch me at the Ravens game, sitting in the skybox. Bought the Lamborghini through the hood, it was a drop top. Doors look up like a shorty selling that cock hot. Nasty, oh my niggas, I ain't about myself. Got gold on my chain, call me Michael Phelps. I'm a champ like Floyd, I got all the belts. Three girls in my room, I don't need no help. One wants to suck her, the other wants to fuck her. The third one, she crazy, she want me to cuff her. And I ain't talking about being a man, she want me to put the handcuffs on her. She one of my fans. Fucking groupies, you niggas is fools and noodles, nigga, I'm sushi. And when I see Rihanna, I hope she give me some coochie. Like, I'm just joking, but if you say yes like plies, I'll bust it open, huh? Hey, Rihanna. Hey, Rihanna. I swear to God, I want to suck you in a sauna. Hey, Rihanna. Yes, Rihanna. Baby, you can call me daddy like your father. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, we got it. Yo, they're not ready, yo. We ain't messing around around here, man. We Come not, on, sir. I'm not really playing. I'm not playing. You know what I'm saying? Like I tell, like I tell a lot of people for real, honestly. And I'm not trying to sound. Oh I'm, shit! I had to leave yeah. a bit the gunshot. I'm not trying to sound vain. I'm, I'm not trying to sound cocky or bigoted. But um, any any artist in the um, world, um, I can get on track with them and hold my own. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what I mean. Whether it be a Nas or a Jay Z or a Kendrick Lamar or a J Cole, you know what I mean. I can get on those tracks and. I can do what it do, you know what I mean? No disrespect, but, you know, I'm just that confident in myself and in my craft and my ability to create, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, baby. Mix Station Radio. Yeah, baby. So, E, when did you know? Because it's like everybody that does music or anything that you do in music, it, it comes to that point where you know, like, yo, I got this shit. Mm -hmm. When did you know, like, yeah. I'm in. You know what I'm saying? When did that, that first moment me was like, yeah, I'm the shit. You know what I'm saying? When you feeling yourself, you know? I'm going to be honest. Like, I, I was always feeling myself. But when I bought my first CD out back in 1998, it was the Red and Black, the Tester. It really did something to change my life because I had the whole Baltimore City playing Talk. my music. I mean, I could be anywhere. I can be at a mcdonald's or i could be at a corner or, and people be riding past playing my songs and i'm like god this shit is crazy you know um shout out the fats fat back white locks yeah. white locks greatest he's actually out hagerstown doing some time you know what i mean he he put the battery in my back and um really pushed me out there to take it serious because at first i was just doing it and just having fun with it but he put it in my back for me to turn it into a profession and I think once once I did that, I understood that I was powerful. You know what I'm saying? And that um, CD to this day is admired by so many people around the city and so many people around the state. You know what I mean? And it created a legendary status for me. And it um, made me who I am today. And after that, I just grew and grew and grew. So it was at that moment when um, I bought that CD out. And I was going up Lake Clifton at the time. And I had a bag of CDs. I had like 100 CDs, and I was just giving them away. It was, wow. on, it was on a Friday. I was just giving them away. And when I came to school Monday, oh, my gosh, it was ridiculous. They were looking at you different. People was coming to my classroom. 
like the women they just was going nuts you know what i'm saying like they wanted to take pictures with me it was crazy and i was like wow so i always got that attention and I always got you know that type of energy but i've always remained humble about it you know what i mean i never let it get to my head and i never react to crazy which a lot of artists do especially from here no disrespect but they get a little buzz and a little yeah. a, a little fame and, they go and, to their and, head. and a little a, a little calling and you know what I mean they they react different you know what I mean but so I just kept a level of humbleness inside of me and that's what created who I am EJ Wow Warrior. so uh yeah man I, I'm I'm so impressed you know I always been impressed with you EJ even when I first met you I was like yo this nigga is the shit. Thank you, Nick. And the way you was always laid back, but then you had that wild out factor, like yeah. the unpredictability factor on you. Coming coming from a prestigious young black man <laughs> like yourself, I would I would thank you. So you know, I love I always love the music. Really, I like the bars better than the music a lot of times. Yeah. So you was one of those artists that made me listen to what the fuck you were saying and not the beat. Mm -hmm. So imagine if you really had a beat really singing with your oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying. You, you know what's crazy throughout my whole throughout my whole career? I don't want to say throughout my whole career, but a lot of my career, I've always had issues with production. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was always Trying something to find that right with, with production. You know what I mean? Because my voice and my sound is so unique. Right. I just need that producer. You know what I mean? But, of course, you know, Nick got the soul beats that we playing, and yeah. Yeah, we already come up with something. You yeah, know yeah, we're going to do something, man. Yeah, you know, it's been a long time coming. Yeah. Because I remember playing some of, the, some of the tracks back then, and you was like, yo, who the fuck made that beat? And you was surprised when I said, yo, I made that. Yeah. You was looking at me like, nigga, stop lying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So, so you know, it's been a long time coming. So, yeah, we're going to work. Now that, you know, our situations then got much, much better, you know. Yes. I would like to, I would like to really, really give. I don't get too religious, okay? So, I don't want to get, right, get right. on a religion tip, you know what I mean? But I do know that there's a greater and higher energy. And a higher power that you know sucks love into the world and by the grace of that high power and energy you are able to still sit with us today yeah, after man. that yeah terrible accident also to my man apple um i do remember when um that tragic incident yeah. with you when that fire also you know what i'm saying and um for you guys to still be here healthy strong you know and what friends I mean? again friends yeah you know what i mean that that speaks volumes of, of, of who we um, are who we are and i think and i just thank you know god for just allowing y'all brothers to be still here because y'all great men great inspirers and motivational guys when i did the show with you and bobby yeah you when know we first saying? started mixed station yeah when y'all first started and, I, and me scar and bosco came you know what i mean it was nothing but love yeah, you know, you can feel you can feel the energy, you know what I mean? So because in situations like that, a lot of people don't make it out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Those are um tragic situations. I lost some important people in my life in the fire. You know what I'm saying? So and also I've I've lost important people in my life in, in car accidents. Wow. So I appreciate y'all, man. Just this opportunity, yeah. this this whole opportunity and everything. I'm just forever grateful and blessed and humble about it. So thank you. Man, we thank you, man. You don't even know the half of what I've been going through. Right. And I'm still pushing. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's, it's not going to stop me. It's not going to hold me back. That's why I love doing what I do. Before, I would never be on this mic. Right. I would never do an interview. Right. Real talk, yo. Right. I had to come out of my shell. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I can't have a radio station. And it's just not me. It's a whole team of people. I can't be a major part of a radio station that can't talk. Right. Get the fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, yeah. Forget about it. Yeah, forget use your about shit. It. Yeah. You know, but real talk, but man. You, you know, you had to come into yourself with yeah, it. You know what yeah, I mean? Because absolutely. everything ain't for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people they they use fear and um they kind of sort of just be a little afraid to just step out there and you know try something. And to be honest with you, Nick, and I'm not just saying this because you my guy, right? But you're like an awesome interviewer. Yeah, you know I, I kind of like, give yeah, people space. Yeah, you're kind of good at it. You yeah. know what I mean? I've been on shows. Well, I've been watching that man. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know? Oh, 
Apple Apple's the shit, yo. Yeah, that that's you can tell you can tell he just that's he's he's one of the major reasons why Mitch Station started. That's, Real talk. That's his you can tell that's like him and Bobby, like when doing a show, you can just tell that that's like they thing. Like they just yeah. got it. You know, you know you know how some people just got it. Yeah. It, 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 it's a it's a it's a rhythm that they have, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And then with me on the back burner. With the dumb shit, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Everything, everything, everything gels together. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a great show. Everything, everything. And we gels always together. throw one another person in here and there. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the, the that's why that's why I'm like so happy that they back. You know what I mean? We yeah. had to iron out some shit, of course. Yeah. But I'm so happy that they back because we on a bigger platform right now with mixed station. Right. You know. And only thing it's going to do is just make the relationship bigger. stronger. It's gonna make the connection stronger, and it's gonna make the station stronger. That's yeah, it. you know what I mean. Yeah, absolutely, Every, everybody yeah. gotta take falls. You know what I mean. You gotta fall. You gotta bump your head. You gotta yeah. scrape. You gotta get scraped up. You know what I'm saying? In order to get back up and wipe yourself off. You know what I'm saying? Tony Bosco, that's probably one of my closest friends in the whole entire world. You know what I mean? And me and him used to go through it all the time. Wow, just always going back, yes. back and forth. But our love for each other. And our friendship kept us strong. You know what I mean? We went we went times we wasn't speaking. We was mad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, but you go through that. You go yeah, through that. Yeah, it people, go through that to make you stronger. Yeah, you go through that with people you love and, and people you adore and admire. You know what I mean? And you just bounce back. And look, it's only right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all started it and look at you now. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, man. And I can only imagine. I would love to come more on their show. Man. You when already it, when know. Everything come on. get popping to come back on. You already know, man. We popping off tonight. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Literally tonight. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That volume, volume two, volume two was um. <laughs> volume two was crazy. <laughs> like now is a bunch of all my new records. This is dumb. Okay, stupid. got you. So. Maybe volume two, I can come back. Of course, and, um, man. You you always welcome here. That's the special person volume two. My, I will be back on Mixed Station Radio. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anything. Forget about it. Yeah, forget about it. But uh, we about to end this shit. But I'm going to play this track. I think this is going to be one of the feature tracks on our soul album, yo. You yeah. got, you going to love this shit. And I've been holding on to this track, yo, since 2000. This probably was one of my last tracks I did. I did this in 2016. So wow. to that, this is like the last track that I actually produced before I started really getting into DJing real heavy. So before b- before you do that, let's let me just um yeah, get some people show some shout some outs, love. man. Like, Most my god, baby, my yarn, I love you. The cold as she out there in Seattle, she showed me super super duper love. She actually really hooked me up with Warren G. That's another another thing we didn't talk about. Yeah, shout, man. Out, to, shout out to Warren G. I'm um, Kansas, Tierra, Juan, Dern. Kari King, J. Royale. J. Royale got a mean, mean, yeah, that's mean my man. album. That's my man. Mean joint. He been, he been, he been hounding me for a track for a minute. Yo, J. Royale probably got one of the um one of the most prolific albums I heard in a long, long time. Yeah. Like, is, is amazing. Yeah, he put some work into it. Um, Javi out in Virginia. Hey, what's up, Kelly, baby? My sister, Kendra, I love you. All right, Chanel, Dev, Derek, Rayfield, Drew, Isaiah. I just sent Isaiah a CD. I think Isaiah is in... Um, what New York? I forgot Isaiah. We we from that's my that's my guy. Just sent them off a CD yesterday. Brian, Derwin, Rodney, Sherm, my cousin, um, Sonia, Sharon, my cover, my cousin, Sonia, Tanya, Jillian, Aries, Aries out there. And, um, I forgot what state she in. She got Miss on. We got Memphis. <laughs> we got Memphis in the house. Hector. Yeah, the list goes on and on. Char, Melissa, I just appreciate all on Spotify. You can go on Google Play. You can hit me up on Instagram at EJ Warwick. Hit me up on Facebook at Eric Jones slash EJ Warwick. Twitter, EJ Warwick. You can hit me on all that. If you want the physical copy, I can bring it to you. I can mail it to you. I can ship it to you. My business is handled well. I'm doing everything on my own. But I got a little bit more help now. You know what I mean? Now Nick, now, now that Nick's in the picture. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like we ready to put the lights up and do big videos and big sound and big shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, EJ Warwick, Death to the Skirts and Purses, Volume One. Yeah. Let's go. Yo, you might want to spit something to this shit. I'm trying to tell you. Watch this shit drop, yo. This shit is this just shit, y'all. Oh my say hey Danielle, what's up, baby? Got my sister Danielle on here. Harmony, okay. how you doing? Well, this, this is that, nice. this that godfather shit, y'all. Yeah. 
This is nice. This some EJ shit right here, y'all. Nigga, this some movie shit. Ooh. Yo. Six kids die in the fire. Nigga threw a cocktail bomb in the living room over $35. I listened to Meek Mill interview yesterday, and I felt, yo, talk about how them perks is killing niggas. It's real low. 16-year-old nigga looking like he 30. Don't even wash his hands when he piss. Shorty dirty. Never think a nigga like Meek Millie who had a lock on his city was running around popping perks like he's silly. What? That'll let you know that ain't none of us is exempt. And most of these niggas ain't rich or taking trips. Real life. Jump yeah. off the steps in real ice what? so money can never make me. I live a real life. Bricks of coke, pounds of smoke all on the same table. That shit that you see in my hood, it ain't on cable. Kingpins, fuck that. I'm with the drug lords, mafia shit. Your grave, they should have dug yours. Yeah. Nigga, what? Oh, I love this. Nigga, this you, nigga. Oh, this this the beat gracious. I was telling you about in the car, nigga. Oh. 2016, nigga. Oh. Oh. Oh, my gosh, Nick. Give it to no. him again. Pistol on my side, trigger finger homicide. You don't really want me to make your mama cry. Baltimore City is like Rockabye. Rockabye, baby, getting here in the whip, going down I 80. Hi, baby, I'm shooting a movie. And I got my own studio. You know, a nigga smart, but niggas try to fool me, though. Give me your hood, bitch. You can keep them bougie clothes, like seeing some Nike boots. You can keep them easy clothes. Yeah, I'm from the streets, bullet holes. Kid with a snot nose. 10 thousand a day by the light pole. It was more to Cali and turn Hollywood. Don't even make sure that they mama good. I can go in any hood. Understood? The bars is exceptional. I'm such a professional. I only rock with real niggas. Fuck all the rest of you. What? Illmatic, I'm still at it. Chopper, hey, you jumping like a fucking rabbit. Being a real G, it's a fucking habit. Oh, yes. Tell him to get my clothes pressed. Limousine outside. 16, I'm in a duplex. Before Jay-Z, my nigga B had the new Lex. Rolly watches. Jacob was popping, nigga. And we'll do checks. What? 50 down in cash in a Louis bag. Like the emblem on the front of the Jag. Niggas owe me money like Lee Daniels. Turning into Damon Dash. But we ain't going to court, nigga. You going in the body bag, bitch. What? You hear the breakdown right on time, baby. Mix station ready, yo. Y'all motherfuckers stay tuned, man. Yo, Yo Cuddy's up next. God damn it. This is the artist. God damn it. Superstar preview. God damn it. That's how we do it. Miss Station Radio with yours truly, Big Nick, a.k.a. Black Dynamite, motherfuckers. Oh, I can freestyle, too. Yeah. But, yo, this is all we going to give them. We ain't giving them no more, y'all. They got to wait for the album. Y'all got to wait for the album. The soul album. Matter of fact, this is the first track. Nick going to send it to me. We go in the studio, we knocking it out. It ain't even a whole lot to that. What's up, Drill? Yeah, y'all. Interview is over.